Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. Alberta has been a pioneer province when it comes to carbon capture projects. And now we are getting close to seeing one of the world's first carbon removal innovation and commercialization centers come online in Innisfail. Now to tell us more, I'm joined now by Deep Sky CEO Alex Petre. Good morning. Morning, Gina. How are you? Really good. And this is such a, an exciting project, not just for Alberta, but really for on a global scale. Can you just tell us what Deep Sky Alpha is and what sets it apart from other carbon capture projects? Absolutely. Uh, first and foremost, Deep Sky Alpha is a very um, unique concept in that it is the very first center to actually test unique and differentiated technology vendors, which all do direct air capture. So this uh, form of carbon removal is actually very different than some of the ones that we have probably spoken about before mm -hmm. and we have here in the province. Um, and Deep Sky Alpha is the very first hub anywhere in the world where we actually put together a variety of different technologies and test them to really understand which one of these technologies works best in the Canadian climate and which one of them is most suitable to actually put um, and grow at a commercial scale because uh, this is a very first project, but we have hopes for many more to follow. And you, you explained it really well to me just before uh, this segment. You know, our, our projects right now, they're just trying to capture those plumes uh, of carbon as they're coming out, this project is taking the stuff that escaped and trying to bring it back out of the atmosphere. So what's our timeline looking like? Yeah, absolutely. So there's definitely multiple pathways for carbon removal. We are in the director capture pathway, exactly as you explained. We're trying to clean up all the stuff that we've already put out there mm -hmm. for hundreds of years. Um, and so even if we were to stop any net new emission today, we still have a lot of work to do. Um, our facility right now is in commissioning, which means that it's been built and it's mechanically complete. What we're doing right now is a whole bunch of tests before we turn it on in a few weeks. So we actually believe that we're going to have the very first ton of CO2 going all the way from ambient air all the way down in the ground over two kilometers deep uh, where it's going to stay for a thousand plus years um, in just a few short weeks. So exciting. And of course, uh, Innisfail's ground zero, but this is just hopefully the first step in what could be many projects like this. Absolutely. Deep Sky is very much focused on understanding how we can make Canada actually a carbon removal superpower. We have all the right things here in Canada. We have amazing geology. It obviously allowed us for, uh, you know, hundreds of years to actually um, benefit from all the energy that we've had. Mm -hmm. We have renewable power and we have a labor force, which is absolutely well suited to this. So putting all these pieces back together um, in a slightly different order means that we can also be a superpower in terms of removing CO2 from the atmosphere. Just at the last bit of time, um, there's obviously a lot of opinions right now when it comes to carbon mitigation measures, some of them valid, some of them um, I'll, I'll let you decide, but uh, what would be the key message you'd just like to get out when it comes to deep sky for some people who just might have opinions about this? Yeah, and everyone will have their own opinions about this. I think fundamentally here at Deep Sky, we believe that this is absolutely required. Uh, we do see a lot of the problems that we have right now, whether it's wildfires, whether it's crazy storms, heat waves, heat domes. Um, all of these are at the very core caused by the fact that we have an accumulation of CO2 in the atmosphere which does not make it safe for humans or plants uh, to survive in a safe way. So we believe it's imperative to use um, engineered solutions such as carbon removal, um, such as the ones that Deep Sky is bringing to our facility at Alpha and then commercializing uh, to really help this problem. So uh, we're always happy to engage in a dialogue. We always want to ensure that um, our projects are um, you know, very transparent, and mm -hmm. we do talk to communities that we uh, operate in, uh, but fundamentally we believe this is absolutely necessary. Well, it is definitely a to-be-continued story, too. So thanks for joining us today. Of course. And of course, if you want to follow along with this Deep Sky Alpha project, just learn more about it. You can do so by checking out the links on your screen there.